It looks like the Tactical Ops event has been delayed, but why is that? Well, let's look into it. If you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So, the Tactical Ops event has never been like officially announced for like the release date, but the assumed release date that we've seen data mined throughout multiple sources saying that it would be February 8th. Well, it looks like that's not going to be the case because this recent update here from Unishek provides some information about what's going on with the whole thing about the Tactical Ops event, quelling any kind of concerns or any kind of uh, leaks or anything like that. Uh, someone replies saying, is the Tactical Ops event happening tomorrow or in March, which has been kind of the rumors going around. Community manager Unishek went here on Twitter saying, we've seen some speculation around the timing of future events. So jumping in to set expectations, there are no plans for an in-game event tomorrow being February 8th. When an event is on the way, we'll be sure to let you know in advance, which I was assuming like, yeah, it's been kind of weird that we haven't really seen much in the way about like this event coming around, which should have been, well, probably known by at least today but at least now we actually have some finally got some information to let us know what's going on with the tactical ops event now there are multiple speculations of what could be in this pass right now but there actually are some leaks about what's gonna be involved with the battle pass or the event pass that we've had previously because this event's gonna be very similar to say like the winter contingency or the cyber showdown event which are kind of more like one-off events but this one will have some unique customization as well as showcased here on reddit showcase and some new customization if you guys have seen that scorpion punch coding yeah this is supposed to take part of this we also have a really cool helmet that's going to take part of the whole customization some really cool stuff that you'd want to put onto your spartan we're definitely looking forward to it because right now halo fits kind of in a content situation right now with most of the community and really can't wait to play something new or at least get some new aspects into this but this is the pass that they're looking to add into the game right here which has some really great stuff which is why people are so excited and can't wait to get a chance to play this tactical ops event now, so far, each event has had its own like special playlist so you can play along with it. And recently, a leak came out that King of the Hill is currently in Halo Infinite's game files right now, but just currently not playable. And it's only to be found when you're playing offline. So this could be like the special mode that's coming with the uh, Tactical Ops event. No guarantees though. This is kind of like the rumor mill and the things that are going around with the community. But now you're probably asking, why is this being delayed? Well, there's some really important reasons why it's happening. We also have this mid-February patch that's coming right around the corner, guys, because we're in February right now, and next week would be about mid-February, so we should be getting some concrete information about what's going to be coming in with this patch update. It's probably the reason why this event is being delayed, because 343 might be all hands on deck trying to get this fixed out, as we do also do now that they're working on a fix when it comes to the ranking system coming in with Halo Infinite. They mentioned about customization, storage, items and things like that this is gonna be a big update coming in mid-february which once we do get some solid information i'll make sure to share it on the channel with you guys here so looking at this it just kind of makes me think that 343 is just prioritizing getting the game in a good state before you get people to jump back in play the game and possibly spend more money on the store which i would say is a good move for halo infinite because right now yes it's still like a fun game to play don't get me wrong but there are certainly issues that need to be addressed right now like there's a, an issue with the rank system or the mmr of like bot matches affecting how kind of teammates you get in ranked and things like that the rank system not really working out as intended as they have mentioned that in the previous blog update as well and then on top of that we had just like bug fixes and things like that that need to be addressed as well so more things about functionality when it comes to the game that need to be addressed more than just adding in a new event plus i just would like to see a little bit of a breathing room when it comes to these events as well because well we had the cyber showdown event and then right after that we had the tenrai event and then have the tactical ops event happen right after that one that just kind of reduces the funness or uniqueness of these events because when you have uh, three events within the span of five weeks which it would be it's just a little much you kind of need to have these you know peaks and valleys of like new stuff coming in again to get people excited because when there's a new thing to do every single week like a new event it just kind of loses the uniqueness of it unless people are likely to come back to play for that event specifically but trust me once we get some actual information about when the tactical ops event will be dropping out for us guys i'll let you guys know on the channel as soon as possible but until then we just have to wait a little bit longer but if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out this playlist right here got a link to all my halo event news and informational videos right there thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one Peace out.